Oh, hello everyone. This is going to be a short video because I haven't gone through the crafts footage yet and um, I can't like delete that because I want to go through it. I want to make a video of it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be like the last video of all of them together because Bucky or Mr. Green is going today. Hello, Otis. Um, I think I'm going to sneak in now and get them some food um, and feed them out here. So they can have a really nice run. Um, there's puppies everywhere. They had a really boring day yesterday where they were in. They were fed and watered and cleaned out by my friends. So I'm like really, really grateful to. Um, also really grateful for Marissa for helping me on the way in with the crate. And then um, Carl and Flynn for helping me on the way out of crafts yesterday. Like, yeah, that made a huge difference to me. And everyone else who helped me throughout the day. Like, Amy showed Jude because I was absolutely spent by then. And, yeah, like, getting Lani ready for me because there's one after the other. Hell for getting Nala because she was right after Aria. And it was a whole thing. Um, I was on the BBC News um, where they filmed and I was in the background showing Lani. And then I was on Channel 4 with Pod, shook, like just in the background again showing um, yesterday, which is, it's never happened to me before. So when people say, oh, I look out for you on TV, I'm like, yeah, you wouldn't see me. And then obviously they did today. So yeah, um, the puppies are all good anyway. I've ordered more puppy food, just about got the puppy packs together. What have you got? Wow. That was a crash. That was a crash. That was a crash. <laughs> um, my back's still bad, but I did manage to show. It's really weird, like, basically, like, getting down to floor level, that hurts. And then, like, sitting down and getting back up, that hurts. But really, walking and moving isn't too bad. If the dogs pull me, that's bad. So yesterday, the three girls pulled me over outside when I took them out for a wee. So they pulled, my ankle rolled, and then my back wasn't strong enough to sort of save myself. So I fell and I took a lump out of my knee, ripped my jeans, and then I still had three dogs to show. But I ended up only showing two, so Amy showed the other one. But anyway, Crufts was good. The dog showed excellently. I was like figuring it out. Are you a and Jude haven't shown for like six months. Nala about a year. And then the boys for between three and five months haven't shown. So to go to the biggest dog show in the world after such a long break, no ring craft, hardly any training because I've been busy with puppies and walking them and keeping them fit for the show. Um, they just show brilliantly. Aria was shortlisted out of 29 entries to the final 10. So that was amazing. She showed the best she's ever shown at crafts. Um, and then Tanya was also shortlisted in the same class. She showed amazingly Queenie, who is Pod's daughter out of a Lily daughter. So like she's basically half Werner in all but name. She's definitely part of team half Werner. She got a fifth in one of her classes and it was hers and Polly, her owner's first ever crafts. And then Suzanne with Roy, who's half one at Oranges and Lemons, who is Jude and Pod's son. He got a fifth in a class and again, it was their first crafts and he was lying down in the middle of the shopping aisle. I was like, that's such a Pod Nala sort of thing to do. Queenie was a, laid down in the ring totally cool with it all and that that means more to me sometimes than the results as much as I was buzzing for the results obviously that is so good for them to be that good um yeah and then Thomas who is a Dora Podson he got a third in his class so it's really good day for pod offspring um <laughs> so yeah maybe I need to keep more of them <laughs> I don't need to keep more dogs, by the way, I was joking. So, yes, anyway, this is the final puppy video with everyone together. And hope you enjoy, and I shall see you all soon.
Bye.